Big crowd at Trumbull High School to see the Eagles beat Stanford. Stanford's game plan was to get the ball to their big man, Quayshawn Askew. They do, but Trumbull did a good job of keeping him in check most of the night. Richard Rodriguez was the leading scorer tonight for Trumbull. He had 26 points, hits a three from the corner, and gives, gives uh, the Eagles the lead. And then Trumbull stretches the lead a bit a little more with some good offensive sets on the backdoor cut. Edward nice. McElroy. Trumbull wins a good one, 66 to 48. You know, at halftime of that game, Trumbull High School honored one of its former high school basketball players, former Villanova Wildcat, Harold Jensen. Yeah, Jensen had quite a career at Trumbull before playing for Raleigh Massimino at Villanova. He won a title with the Wildcats back in 85. I forget against who. <laughs> Jensen was a parade All-American in 1983 and led Trumbull to two FCAC titles and was a two-time Class L All-State player. Scored almost 1,400 points in his high school career. So all these years later, did Jensen ever think he'd have his number hanging up on his old high school gym wall? No. <laughs> no, not at all. I well, you know, we competed, uh, we had some great seasons, but you never think about something like this. You know, you're just playing, you're trying to do the best you can, and, um, you know, this is a result, I think, of uh, some good coaching, some hard work, and some great teammates. And, you know, to me, it's for everybody tonight that I played with. It's, it's a night I'll never forget, for sure. Jensen was a sixth-round NBA draft pick of the Cavs, never played in the NBA, did play professionally overseas, or in the USBL, excuse me, for the Philadelphia Aces. You know, I didn't have the heart to tell him. I don't want to ruin his I was going to ask you. Did I didn't you want to ruin there? his big night, but I, I wanted there? to tell him <laughs> my first college basketball memory is my parents waking me up, getting me out of bed to watch Villanova upset my favorite team at the time, Georgetown. And he was 5-5 five five in, in the game, made four, four free throws, and... And I one remember, of the biggest upsets of all time. I remember that game like it was yesterday. I was in a, a motel room for spring training baseball out in Yuma, Arizona, and everything stopped to watch that game. He tried to shake my hand. I wouldn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bed, I'm just kidding. 